We're going to start with sports. The Royals take two out of three from beating former Royal Johnny Cueto. Michael Lorenzo was his winning pitcher. We'll stop right here and listen to the Cueto song. Johnny Cueto, Johnny Cueto, welcome to Kansas City. Johnny Baseball, Johnny Baseball, won't you help us win the World Series? El Rey Dominicano, El Rey Dominicano, El Rey Dominicano, los reales es muy fuego. Johnny Cueto, he's our hero. Fiesta! Fiesta! <laughs> Johnny Cueto. Hope you thought that video was funny. I mean, it's dumb, but that's what makes it funny. The Royals take two of three, as we said. Mim J. Melendez had a home run. Bobby Wood Jr. had another good night. 3 nothing Royals. The Royals will play... Philadelphia this weekend and play a tw really tough 20-game stretch. It will be the toughest of the season for the Royals. Now we move on to the Chiefs uh, players that may not make the team. McCole Hardman, wide receiver. I think he will probably make the team. He made one of the biggest catches in Chiefs history. Sky Moore, I think they'll try again because he's not a distraction. Kadarius Tony is not good enough to be an a-hole. Not at all, in fact. He's probably not even good enough to be on the team. And that, in my mind, that's why he's done. Not good enough to be on the team, and he's a jerk. And that's Sam Von Smack, who's probably not a jerk. And Justin Ross, maybe he helped the Chiefs out with more depth. Nico Remio. Nico Remio. We'll see if he makes a team. I think he will. He's a special teams guy. People got to fill. Receivers got to fill in and tell Marcus Chris Brown who was supposed to be the starter is out for four to six weeks. And also remember, Rasheed Rice could be suspended sometime. We just never know when that date will come. It could come the first day of the season. I don't know. We don't know when it will come. So we'll just see when it comes. Cornell Powell, I'd like to see him make the team and try again with him. Connor Steele, fullback, I definitely think he should make the team. We didn't have fullback last year, and it may have led to lack of fourth, fourth down one short. I feel that this will make him better at fourth down one. You can hand it off to the fullback that's just not a tight end, a fullback that can bumble and rumble on a fourth and two or a fourth and one where normally Andy Reid would kick a field goal. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he may or may not make the team. I'm rooting for him because he has PTSD, but vomiting syndrome will hurt him from making the team because if he has vomiting syndrome... And the friend you thought ignored you at the party may not have actually seen you. There are many ways how our realities can be distorted. Let me share a few of my personal experiences and realizations. How you focus your attention can distort your reality. Sometimes we have this great idea in our mind, and we exhaust all our resources trying to find evidence to support the idea. But in the process, we might be ignoring and not paying attention to evidence that already exists telling us that our idea is no good. Second, our first perception can lead to later perceptions, distort our reality, and impact our decision-making. With this example, I actually need help from you. What we're going to do is we're going shopping. So imagine this, standing in front of your favorite discount store. We all walk in, 
grab the cart. Half hour later, with 10 things already in the cart, we get to the item we actually came in for. <laughs> we pick up the item, we look at the tag, it says, original price, $100. That's our first perception, the dollar amount or the cost of that item. Then we look at the discounted price, it says $50. That's our second perception. What, it, what we're doing is our focus has changed from the cost or the price of the item to the value of the item. And it looks pretty attractive at 50% off. But wait, then there's another red tag. It says extra 25% off. Now the, va the, the cost is $37.50, and your brain is telling you that it's a really good price and you would be a fool if you didn't buy that. Perception versus reality. Part three. We're going to start with a very simple story to understand my perception. Shaving may be a simple task for you, but it's not for me because I have motorized problems and I get dizzy for hours when I get the red dots. I can still get the red dots without using. And so I started going to this person named Tiffany. She started shaving my face and is the best person to cut my hair in Kansas City. She is really good at her job. So I perceive her it when I go to her that my perception is that Tiffany is a good person to go to because she shaves my face and I don't have to do it. She's nice and we can talk about anything. That's my perception. My perception of her shaving my face is a good thing. My perception of me shaving my face is not a good thing. Is that reality? Probably not. But that's the way I think about it. And now I've learned that if I don't use the aftershave, it goes better. But I'd rather just do it with Tiffany. Perception versus reality. Part three. We're going to start with a very simple story to understand my perception. Shaving has not may be a simple task for you. But it's not for me because I have motorized problems and I get dizzy for hours when I use them, when I, use, when I get the red dots. I can still get the red dots without using, um, and so I started going to this person named Tiffany. She started shaving my face and is the best person to cut my hair in Kansas City. She is really good at her job. So I perceive her it when I go to her that I my perception is that Tiffany is a good person to go to because she shaves my face and I don't have to do it. She's nice and we can talk about anything. That's my Perception, my perception of shaving a face is a good thing in my reality. No, and my, perce my perception of her shaving my face is a good thing. My perception of me shaving my face is not a good thing. Is that reality? Probably not. But that's the way I think about it. And now I've learned that if I don't use the face shave, aftershave, it goes better. But I'd rather just do it with Tiffany.